Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Style and Gibbs Weekly Podcast with Rachel Kimball and my very good friend, Kara Coughlin. We're coming to you with the latest fashion ideas, news, style updates. Let's see, life's wins, life's challenges, our giving hearts, and a whole lot of fun, positive fun yeah, vibes, right? A lot, of, a lot of craziness going on over here. <laughs> so please hit subscribe if you um, are into this. And who isn't, right? Because today we're going to be talking about the Oscars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a good one. What happened, right? <laughs> so let's jump in. Let's talk first. I want, I want to talk about is Jimmy Kimmel. Right. What did you think of Jimmy? Are you a Jimmy Kimmel fan? Well, like, that's I love him, I but I think you love him more. I do. You love him. I liked him. I I mean, he he's a great guy for the show. I mean, he's a crowd pleaser. He says all the right things. Yes. He's got the jokes. I mean, he's, he's good to look at. He, he, he looked, looked great. He I looked mean, great. he looked great. And what mm -hmm. I love, well, first off, I love his little banter that he always has with Matt Damon. It's like a joke. And it's, <laughs> it goes from way back and I can't even, let's, we're not going to go into that. But it's it's funny to me because he just checks in with mm -hmm. him and then regularly kind of like, you know, gives him a little slam in a funny way, not like, you know, too much. But it, with his little digs at Matt Damon really make me laugh. But I thought was really funny. And one of my favorites is when he was talking to Nicole Kidman about never leaving the AMC theater. Did you see that? Did, you know, yes. whenever you go to the movies, she's she's that she's, she's there, coming she's out. You know, yeah. I thought that was funny. But yeah, I, I thought he carried it. I mean, he had hosted it what back in was it 2017 and 2018? Okay. Yes, 2017 and 2018. And he had he had emceed the show, which I mean, I it kept it going. Definitely. But I definitely thought, like, the stars who were presenting were the ones that just were wowing me. And oh, then he yeah. kind of came in and, and, and was able to transition everything pretty well. Um, and he's good at that. I think that's he what I is. Mean. He's really good at he just kind of taking the wheel and, you know, making it seamlessly. Effortless. That's what he does yeah. on this, his, his <laughs> show, you know, and he has that just that, that timing where he just waits just a minute and then he hits the beat. It's okay. just, the, you know, the comic timing. I just loved it. I thought he did a great job. Um, but then again, just amazing movies and performances for the Oscars this year. Okay. I just want to start by saying everything, everywhere, all at once. I couldn't get in enough you of that movie. It. I wrote a blog on it. Please check it out. It's called The Beauty of, of um, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. I the, the, the movie has so deep. The performances in there were incredible. They were up for 11 Oscar nominations. Amazing. And they it won seven. Eight, right? They seven. won okay. seven. Okay. They won for Best Picture, Best Original Screenplay, Direction, Filming, mm -hmm. Best Actress, Michelle Yeoh won, which I thought she was a runner. Best Supporting Actor was Ki Hung Kwan. Oh, my gosh. That guy. Uh, he, he, he was floored. You could tell all night long. He was and how he grateful. took it. Really, yes. I want to just say what he said uh, when he accepted. As tears streamed down his face, um, he said, "You know, I almost gave up on my dreams. To everyone out there, please keep your dreams alive." Alive. Yep. You know, two oh, decades. Man. I'm gonna cry. I like oh. love this guy. Like he, he's so like Very, two decades of not mm -hmm. not really being in the spotlight, and then what? It comes all full circle. The end of the show. Um, you have Harrison Ford, who he worked in, he worked with, like in his mm -hmm. first movie when he yep. was a kid, right? Handing the award to the Daniels, and then him being mm -hmm. up there, and you know, hugging Harrison Ford. That's I lost it. it was I was awesome. like, it was just. We needed that. Like, yeah. I feel like America needed that. I needed to see it, and I was just so impressed. Um, you know, seven awards, that's huge. And then following that, All Quiet on the Western Front won four categories, which I had not seen. It's German. I had not seen. You know, I, um, it's a German language war epic. Um, so I know it's on Netflix right now. It's streaming, so maybe I'll check that out. I don't, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I haven't, I need to see it because it got so many nominations. Got nominations. Yes. Um, so last night I, I, I had not seen The Whale. So you watched it. And I watched it. Okay, let's, um, did you like it? Yeah, Brendan, you, you deserve, you know, Austin, you're amazing, I love you, uh, but Brendan, you, you killed it. It was such a crazy transformation. I'm going to tell you that I was so moved, I, on so many levels, if you have not seen The Whale, get your tissue box, and oh be, boy. it was, it was a, a wow factor movie, and um, it was Directed by Darren Aronofsky, which he has done. Let's see, 
What else has he done? Requiem for a Dream and Black Swan. Oh, okay. So I didn't know that. So he's, yeah. and But he didn't actually write it. It was written by, like, the uh, it was a book, and then it was transformed into a book by Samuel D. Hunter. Okay, I watched it. Then I, I had my, I went in and said, Mom, you have to watch this. And she watched it. Oh, and wow. we were so, both, and then good. I had to wait up to see what her, you okay. know, what she said. And she was, it was the same way. She was crying. So I would definitely say if you haven't seen that movie, that's a great movie. And then Sarah Pauly, who won for Women Talking, Women Talking, mm-hmm. who has a great cast. And that's probably a lot of the fashion people we're going to be talking about are all those women that showed up that were in that actual movie. Um, I was, I was very impressed with that. And do you well, want to talk Frazier like is somebody who I haven't seen in a while since Encino Man? I know. Oh, right. <laughs> well, remember? Like, I think like that yeah, was so. When he, you know, when they were talking, I'm like, goodness, where has he been? Okay, well, I mean, I don't see a lot of the movies, but it was nice to see him. Oh, you know, it's it's kind of cool. I would agree. And his kids were with him, mm-hmm. and he. I mean, it was moving to see him win, but then after watching the movie last night, I was like, I was floored. I was floored. Was, he was shaking. I mean, he, he, you saw I don't, his I guess he was. He, and he was, I think he was floored. Could you and tell? he even kind of, you know, this is what I thought was, was interesting. He even kind of said, you know, I like, maybe I didn't even deserve the, to get into the movie, into this movie. Like I didn't, you know, he's kind of going back to his past and how, you know, we all do that really. Oh yeah. You well, know, we're all thinking like, oh, I don't know if I, mm-hmm. it, you know, let me pinch myself if this is actually really happening. But, um, he, I just thought he, it was so special and moving. And then after seeing the movie, I was like even more moved by it. So you're watching the whale. Maybe okay, it could be on your way to Mexico okay. or something. Well, no, get, maybe on the way back. Watch. Yeah, <laughs> you need to have a cleaner. It's just so many different levels of that movie, um, different you know things that it brings up in life. So yeah, I was really amazed in that. Um, do you want to talk about what your favorite moments that were in there? I mean, I. Lenny Kravitz did a great job. He did an awesome job. I mean, that's it's pretty special for him to do the in memory. I know. And then John Travolta. Travolta. He couldn't even really get the words out. He was tearing up. I was tearing up. I was tearing up. I'm like, wow, this is emotional. But he did a great job. I thought he looked great. Oh, I did too. We can talk about that in a second. But um, I loved him. I mean, I love Lady Gaga's performance. I know there's, you know. We've all got different things to say about her performance. I mean, it was definitely different and raw and real, and she shed everything. But I, I liked it. I, I, I did too. I, but I love her in every moment. So I liked the no makeup look. Well, and she said, you know, I loved what she said. I think we all need each other. We need a lot of love to walk through this life, and mm-hmm. we all need a hero sometimes. There's heroes all around us in unassuming places. But you might find that you can be your own hero, even if you feel broken inside and you start crying right now. That's amazing, right? Yeah. Like, and turn that t-shirt inside out. Turn you know, it like I get I, up there, go I can, it down. I know you, you know you can actually you know, redo that yeah. outfit completely. I'm like, yeah, I've got a, I've, got, I've definitely have a Foo Fighters t-shirt yes. I can turn inside out and and put on, you know, some ripped jeans. And you know, it it felt like you know, it's from the movie Top Gun, Maverick. I felt mm-hmm. like she wrote it in her basement. Um, and uh, with Blood Pop, I can't forget, she, that was written with Blood Pop. Um, and he's written a lot of songs for like Madonna and everything. They, they can go on on, uh, John Legend. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I thought the no makeup look was great. I love that she it. had that, like, she still had a little bit of lipstick on. It looked like she just went on and just, you know, it was that little bit little of hint. Yeah, like, that was like right in the middle of the lip. But, I mean, it was just real. Brianna I Lift Me it. Up was moving. Gorgeous. She she really knows how to put on a show, and then she her does. I mean, then ASAP Rocky at Rocky at the end, like you, they pan over to her, you know, baby daddy, and he has you know the champagne, and it's just like you know, like cheers, honey, you did a great job. No, I I, I thought that was really fa- fabulous. Um, and then I loved when, you know, for, for best short film and Irish goodbye, you know, they they won, and then they the everyone sang happy like happy birthday to James Martin. I saw that. that the star. So cool. I thought that was just really like that was great. Right? That was just kind of brought the energy up. So those were Something some of my different. favorite. Exactly. I mm-hmm. loved it. But I know well, what we're really waiting to talk about though is the fashion. And that's what we're going to get into we right now. <laughs> we're going to get right into it. So yeah. first off, I want to talk about the champagne carpet. There was no red carpet. I loved it. I know. I hope they do it again. I think that they will. And I I've read articles that are saying that because the Met Gala 
these mm-hmm. carpets changed that they hired the people that do them at gala to do this and i think that they they really wanted to step it up and they had changed it in like 60 plus years i don't even know and then the tent was orange so they wanted mm-hmm. something to go with the tent and i think it helped the stylist pick dresses Dresses. Mm -hmm. I think it elongated the legs of the people that wore the the gorgeous gowns that were more of the neutral colors because it just kind of went right into the the carpet right it was I think it's beautiful I I thought it was so classy I think they've got a new look here I loved it and you know yeah and yeah I just I I love the red carpet don't get me wrong but I thought this was just like dialed up yeah, it was change, dialed up, like and it was a change, and, and it was a well-needed mm-hmm. one. And I, I loved the tint, the orange, that the orange rich oh, drape. I thought that was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, so who are your tops? Who, who are your top favorites? Mine kept adding. I started with Rachel's oh my top gosh, three, I, and then I went to Rachel's <laughs> top five, and then top eight, and then I was like, what am I, I doing? I have a lot of top. I mean, I have like 15. So. Okay, <laughs> throw it out. I mean, I'm not going to throw them all out there. But I really love Nicole Kidman. Oh, my gosh. I mean, she just looked yeah. from – Head to toe, amazing. I mean, that her dress was Armani Privé, that black with the, the floral, almost like what is it? Applique. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, they had that oh the, in the sequins. I had her on my favorite. Is that one shoulder with the with the one shoulder hard look? Like one was yeah, like a little hard. bit, mm-hmm. you know, more sharp. God, her hair. Her hair. That, I mean, we finished I each like other's sentences. And P.S. We did not talk before this. No. Okay, we, we we were like we kept it really couldn't go into nope. it. That's the, I absolutely loved oh, her yes. hair down and the color of her hair is exquisite. I mean, it looked very I full and just straight and the co- all of it. Her face just, I the mean, she's flawless. I she's mean, flawless. So there's that. There's but hope. She, <laughs> like, I, I was like, I want my hair color. Like I actually took a picture of her okay, on so the now screen. Now you're a little darker. Yes. Well, I mean, it's like, I, like I don't it. know. I but just feel like, skin tone, so I feel like she just like that, that color, that her hair color is always great. But that with the dress and everything. Yeah, I agree. She I'm 100% awesome. on my list. Yes. What else? Let's yeah. see. Molly Sims. I didn't see her. What did okay. she have on? She had on this. It was Chakra Couture. Okay. A deep emerald green. Cut out, like with a feather <sighs> boa cape. Um, I mean, just the whole thing was amazing. Her makeup was flawless. Her hair was awesome. I think I did see. I think they cut to her, but it mm-hmm. wasn't like. Did they do an interview? I didn't see an interview, I didn't see an interview, but, interview I but I did her see on the yeah. carpet, and she just, I mean, just the green was striking. It was like, here I am. I like that. Out. Yeah, she looked great. Good. Gorgeous. Who else? Um, let's see. I loved, well, I loved Angela Bassett. Oh, God, that okay, purple Okay, that purple. Number. That was, wow. yes. With her skin and the pearl, the, it was just bold, and it just kind of took me back to, I don't know. 70s 80s look I think that was like a Jeremy that. Scott wasn't she Jeremy mm-hmm. Scott yep well you know I think I, I believe that and it was like the off shoulder royal purple oh gown. no that was Moschino yes Moschino okay yes they're right I figured yeah, yeah I was like I was like wait a minute um but yeah it had the exact like that exaggerated bow neckline I love that. which okay, you kind of had to look at it but you're like wait a minute that looks like a bow yes yeah, she looked beautiful Amazing. with that her skin tone with mm-hmm. the purple everything Everything I loved it. Yeah, she was. She, I mean, great. She had Bulgari jewels. Um, let's see who else. I, I loved so many. Kate Blanchett. Oh my um, gosh, and that was from the archives. Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Thank you for that. I, love I could wear color. that tomorrow. Yes. That. Okay, so the sapphire blue velvet top with the black satin skirt, never worn before. Just you know, sitting in a closet waiting. Oh well. Hey, I love it. Right free love that. <laughs> stuff, free love that stuff on in right. She looked fantastic. The I don't mm-hmm. know what jewels she had on. Do you? Because I I saw I just you saw a picture what? of the earring, and it was almost like a. I don't. Oh gosh, they were gorgeous. Um, like one fell in front and one fell in towards the back. Just you know these beautiful like diamonds, like just hanging diamonds, dripping diamonds. Mm. She just looked fantastic. And her I mean, lip color. I wrote in oh, my notes gosh. actually. This is, that is good like for me? a Rachel lip. Well. I'm going to have to, yeah, I can see it yeah, right here. It's like a deep coral. Okay, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. I loved her hair. I just loved mm-hmm. how, I loved the sleeve. I loved that it had a bold shoulder. I thought that was absolutely fabulous. Um, I, I wrote outstanding. That's not yes, I, <laughs> and, you I know, know. I Because I really felt it was. Um, mm-hmm. Florence Pugh, I loved it. Again, she was in Valentino Couture and with a Tiffany and Co. choker and those little black mini shorts. I'm just telling you. It. 
Okay. Well, you know what? Like my not, not love. <laughs> I love something edgy. Okay, I love something different. That's just me. Mm-hmm. I would I wear it? Heck yeah. You would rock it. I, I know. Well, I would be like, don't step on the back of my train. You know? And I would be like, watch that. I liked the color. I thought I it was, you know, she likes to shop. Like, just last week, I saw mm-hmm. her, you know, in an all sheer uh, back long dress with a, mm-hmm. you know, a thong a thong bikini oh, on. You know? Oh, and she looked okay. fabulous with that. She's not afraid to push the fashion limit and, and not afraid for a critique. Either way, she just doesn't care. And I think that when she was walking the runway, you could see that. She didn't. She felt great. She just felt fantastic. I love that about her. Which I I love that. Um, And I that was on one of my – and I know that it's been hit or miss. I know you either love it or you're like, I'd never do that. What about Emily Blunt? I love her. I love her. She – I mean, that was just clean and elegant. I love the the off-the-shoulder. I mean, she had amazing makeup. The whole thing was – Awesome. I kind of wanted I think to get it was like, Valentino, right? Um, I have it on here. Yes, it is Valentino. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I could get married in that. You could. I actually was thinking, let's it it was that beautiful. And then she did like a pink earring with it because she was, you know, with the rock and he was in that pale pink Dolce, okay, Dolce and Gabbana. Color. I, which oh, he's on well, my love list. I you know, I loved it and he, and he he referred to it because, you know, the designers told him that it was um like, how did they say? They said something like, they just, they, they actually told him what pink it was. The pink hue as, it's a ballet pink. Oh, That's okay. what they said. I he goes, it's sanity. ballet pink. Okay, but I, I yeah. loved it. I With loved the it. fresh flower. That was a fresh flower. Oh, and so his nice. stylist had lined up about five or six of them, I heard. And was just trying to pick that perfect fresh flower. Oh, Sounds like nice. something my mom would do, right? Just yes, to make sure that would. you have that perfect little, you know. But I thought it was, it was fresh. Mm-hmm. That, that look was just fresh and crisp and happy, right? Oh, yeah. They looked great together. Oh, side God. Side. They, they, yeah, but her makeup, do you see me. how, like, just oh. clean and the no makeup makeup look on her was? Which we're going to talk about next week, so don't – you got to tune in for That's makeup right. thing. But that is a huge thing, and I like that. You I could see it. her skin. It glowed from within, that mm-hmm. glow from within, which I thought a lot of people – a lot of the women did have that. Granted, I did see a lot of red lips, which I love, you know. If you didn't know me, I got it on right now. Um, I thought that was really, really mm-hmm. great. I thought Jamie Lee Curtis looked great. You know, she was in that Dolce and Gabbana crested, I like crystal too. crested with the in a lot of boned mm-hmm. detail. I saw in a lot of the dresses with the corsets. That was a, lot a of huge corsets. thing, right? And a lot of trains, a lot of trains, a lot of feathers, a lot of. I know the trains on. Was that um, Oh Hong Chow? Yes. Chow. 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 Yeah. yeah. And she had um, Prada. She was wearing Prada. Prada. They added the collar, Mandarin collar, because she wanted to do that. that. And I loved that. I thought it was beautiful. Um, and it did not wrinkle. Did you see when she stood up? I mean, what Prada? What was that? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when you're in satin, you're like, wait yeah. a minute. And it's, it's I do believe sense. she was probably laying down in the back of, of a limo uh-huh. before she got there. But yeah, the black feathers, that long train. That so I, cool. I really thought she looked beautiful. And mm-hmm. what a performance she is in the whale. Mm-hmm. Girl, she's going, she's already, she's already going That's places because she was nominated, but so many new projects for her, for sure. I mean, she's one to watch. I just, and I love, I love this dress up. I love Sandra O. Oh. I do too. I thought that, that orange. You would look so good in that color, by the way. Oh, but well, I you. thought it was cool. I, very Grecian, very, the color is stunning on her and her skin, her hair. And that was GM, but he stayed mm, Bali. Right. I can barely say that. Um, which, and I'm going to say, I know what the next, because I had to look that up. Um, it was Brioni Raymond and literally the same color, which they were referring to the color as amber, which I was like, Oh, oh so I was like, Oh, it's okay, orange. orange. <laughs> Every one I, when I was looking, I was like, Amber, Amber. I was like, okay, well it was, I guess it wasn't really playing that way for me on, on you know, when that was on the screen. But then when I got a little closer, I could see, you know, like definitely the necklace was in, in yes. amber. Um, but that was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I, I, I like her thick bangs. I did too. Yeah, I, I did was, too. You know, she could pull off a lot of. And she had that kind of messy, like you know, I'm an, you know, I can be a little, you know, I don't have to be so put together, mm-hmm. messy hair look with the bang. Yeah, I think I that like it really it. works. It does work that way. I'm trying to think of who else was on my list. Okay, Rooney Mara. I got to talk about okay, her. You, you got to yes. 
Okay, she wore a vintage Empire Wasted Alexander McQueen gown from literally uh, the fall 2008 collection. Love her for that. And then mm-hmm. at the after party, which we will get to, the Vanity yeah, yeah. Fair after party, she <laughs> put an Alexander McQueen, uh, McQueen like orangey red coat over it. And it was amazing. I was like, I just loved, loved it. it. I thought okay. it's so edgy and fun and cool. And she didn't have to change. You know, we love sustainable fashion. We love that. But I was just like, I really love that. I also love that Zoe Saldana wore I that delicate her. Fendi couture, mm-hmm. um, like Simple. almost sheer sheer dress. Like it had a little sheerness it to it, but silver. like pink and silver. Like lace. I thought it was a little bit of lace. It did have the lace. There. And it ha- she had that vintage Cartier jewelry on. And then she literally said, we all need to start being more sustainable and wear, rewear things. And she pointed out everything that she had on was vintage, um, including her Tyler Ellis Lee clutch. It's, she just was talking yeah. about it. And I was one of the, I mean, I know Rooney Mara is pretty open about that, but she mm-hmm. was saying it on the red carpet, like, let's do this. And I thought, and a lot of, a lot of the stars wore, Vintage, vintage, vintage. Um, or, you know, something that you hadn't seen. Some wore right off the runway, so they didn't do it. But, but uh, you're, you're seeing it more. Seeing it more. And, and I think people are talking about it yes. more. People are promoting it more. And, and I love it's, that. It's, it's so catchy. It is what did you think about Cara Delevingne? The red, the bow, you know, okay. the richness. I love, I love that deep jewel tone. I love that she did the matching shoe. Yes. I love the boldness about it. Again, you know, it goes back to um, the uh, the Angela Bassett look. I I thought it was great. I thought it worked well with her skin. Mm-hmm. But I like a big wow. I mean, you're at the yes. Oscars. I love a here I come with this gigantic dress, and she's got the body to pull oh, well, off she's everything. A so model. I mean, she's like yeah, Carl I, I, I like I liked it at one point. I, yeah, I thought it was beautiful. It really mm-hmm. stopped. I mean, I thought she looked gorgeous. I mean, what do you think about Holly Berry? Let's talk about her. Okay, well, and no, you know, it's she's Tamara on my Ralph. list. That, it was, okay, I know she was trying to, it, I loved the rose gold detail of it. Okay, cool, cool. The cut of the gown, I thought that was a little much. A little high, a little high on this list. Why was it not so much for, like, this is what I'm saying, is like, why was it not so much for, like, uh, Nicole Kidman? But it was, and it, maybe it's because there's there's a difference in height. I don't know. It's that mm-hmm. extra height or something, or the white. I don't, I don't know. know. But it just it was like too much skin. It was a lot of skin. Now I love a white dress. I love the white. Now I think I looked past the dress a little bit because I loved her hair. Yes, her hair. With it just it was, was that one little tendril that kind of just you know where you're like, is her eye there or is it not? It was really cool. So <laughs> I, I don't know. I I know it. It I, something a little funky. I, so I thought I it was past. sexy. You know, and it was on the same side as the cut, you know, so it was like the slit up the side and you can't see the eye either, you know, because you don't know where to look. You're like, wait a minute, do I look at the leg or do I, I can't that's see your eye? You know, hair, like, that's what I but like. I thought that was great. Mindy Kaling in custom Vera Wang white with the like cut out detail. She wore white on the carpet and then changed to black, same dress, okay, same dress she, I, when I she, her. I thought it was a beautiful look. Um, it wasn't in my top only because okay. I just. I like something a little bit edgier, you know, that's me. I, I don't know. Like I, I thought it was for her, it was outside the box and her skin tone looked amazing in it. And I loved the sleeve of it. It had like an almost a bell sleeve, but then it, like shoulders were cut out yeah. and then it had this boning that was open that originally had like a sheer like new net in it. But she was like, mm. I don't like that. Okay. You know, I don't Take get it my out. stomach to show. Take it out. <laughs> and she couldn't decide between the black and the white, so she wore the white on the red carpet, and she wore the black when she presented. And I thought, oh, my God, mm. she was stunning. I thought she was really, really gorgeous. Jessie Buckley, who is in Woman Talking, I know you didn't see this look, and I know it's probably on everyone's worst dress. I absolutely <laughs> loved it. It was Redarte. It was like this long puff sleeve, sheer black lace gown. It had beaded light pink and yellow floral, array, like just this floral pattern mm-hmm. over the black sheer lace, okay, and then fringe sleeves with beads. I don't know. It's cool. It was it's cool. It's a cool look. I don't know. Yeah, you love it. I'm I don't. I just. I just thought it was like in this. You know, her hair is bright red, and I thought, whoa, wow. You know, favorite. if I was that cool, I would. You know, like I just loved that. I was like, mm-hmm. how? What? Cool, what a cool dress. Like that to me. I was like, that is. 
a gorgeous, stunning dress. Definitely out of the box. But I, well, I don't know if people are really, really talking about it that much. But I, I mean, I absolutely like loved it. I, I thought it was super cool. What did you think? I about? thought I thought about the, I liked the Jennifer Connelly, the Louis Vuitton. That yes, was cool. Yes, that yes. Jewel encrusted uh, neckline. How it was? Uh, I loved how it was like off the shoulder, and you barely saw mm-hmm. the shoulder, right? But then it just kind of came up and elongated her neck and made her look like she was like six she, feet tall. She looked. I mean, she's always gorgeous. In, in she my is. Opinion, you, you can't go wrong, and no. she has a great relationship with Louis Vuitton, and that's just who they usually dress her. I, by far, Louis Vuitton, mm-hmm. you're killing it. Okay, wow. like how many looks did we see that looks. we weren't like it was amazing? Mm-hmm. Let's talk Kate about Blanchett. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, she wasn't. I mean, mm-hmm. I just felt like they really the, some of my favorite ones were were from them, and I felt like when we were talking about um, when we talked about the Golden Globes, we were we were saying the same thing about Louis Vuitton. What did yep. you think about Michelle Williams and Chanel Couture? I mean, she wears Chanel Couture, you know, a new haircut, get that pixie haircut out. I didn't. I didn't love favorite. the bridal look. I didn't either. I mean, I loved it. Well, I love I her. I love a lot of things that she does. But right. This one wasn't one of my favorites from her. But I think that's kind of how she goes in my eyes. Like, sometimes I'm like, wow, you, you nailed it. And other times I'm like, what? Well, and I was thinking, you know, she in the movie that she was nominated in The Fableman, she was playing, like, Steven Spielberg's mother in that movie. So, like, when I was looking at her, I was thinking, this is almost kind of a motherly Play look. Part. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, it was more... I don't know, maybe wanting to reference the character instead of actually her. I don't, she's very, I don't know, Kate Young dresses her, so I do believe, mm-hmm. like, their stylist is amazing stylist. But then she does work exclusively with Chanel, typically. I mean, well, you really see her in a lot of Chanel. But, yeah, the sheer cape with the beads, I, I just didn't, it. the silver with the white, it just, I wasn't really one of my favorite. Like, it's just something I wouldn't wear. That's no. what, that, and that's terrible. That's how I think of things. When I'm watching, I'm like, do I like this? Or but when I wear well, this, I think that's what a lot of us do. Would we or could we wear it? You know, how could we? You know, different things like that. So I think it's it's fun to. I mean, know, exaggerate. And I had to imagine. type. I had to type this all up because you know, I scribbled on a notepad that was you wouldn't even believe it. You couldn't even <laughs> read it. It was like a chicken scratch notebook. That's how my Because I was just making notes all the time <laughs> on everything, and I want to talk about Anna de Armas. So, you know, she okay, was she up was, for playing Mar- Marilyn Monroe. Mm-hmm. I thought that she was amazing in that, too. That scoop neck mermaid, Louis Vuitton, again, again Louis with Vuitton. the scalloped petal detail at the bottom. It was really cool. It was very different. It was very different. Mm-hmm. And I, the thing is, is, like, I felt like the the lighting almost didn't really show it off as well as it did. And I loved her hair down. I loved her hair. Her hair looks like her head. Just, like, it was just so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like, she was glowing from within too. That no makeup, makeup look with mm-hmm. just letting the dress. The dress didn't wear her; she wore it. It was just really, really. I, I loved it. Yeah, it was. I thought she was great. What do you think about Janelle Monae with the orange and black custom yeah. wing? That was a very white one too. Was, I I liked it. It was unexpected, but I think she can pull that look off. She can pull that cut out. The le- it was leather, right? It was the glass part leather. Um, and then the. I think I, I'm not sure if it, it was silk? leather. It was I think it was silk, and she kind of did that wrap thing, and then she added the choker around the neck, which mm-hmm. was originally Vera was this is me on my first name basis. Vera was, right. like, Vera, was like, right. <laughs> Vera was like Vera was like I don't want you. You know, she's like you know what you let's not do the choker. She's like I want to add the choker, which you know to me I would have been like no thanks for the choker unless it was like Tiffany stuff. I would be like yeah bring oh, that baby well, yeah. on and make it three or four. Um, I don't know I. I'm I'm indifferent on it. I think the color was awesome. I thought the style was pretty cool, but not my favorite. It wasn't my favorite no. either. And Jessica Chastain, I mean, she does old Hollywood so well. Mm-hmm. She was in a custom Gucci, like, and with the train, the black train, and the silver. It, she's beautiful. I just wasn't was like, beautiful. it wasn't like something that I felt like, I don't want to say I want to go to prom, <laughs> but I want to say that it felt very like just something I'd seen before, which I mean, I know every design is like that. It just mm-hmm. wasn't something that I felt was like a, one of my favorites, maybe for her, but I do love her in a bright color I because of her hair. Her hair, her hair gorgeous. Gorgeous. Her hair say. was gorgeous. Her hair was gorgeous. Um, Michelle Yeoh, I don't know about the, the hair halo ornaments. I, I don't know about that. No, I, I she and that. she had Dior. Couture. She had Dior, yep. Um, but and with the feathers and uh, this, I mean, I the diamonds were amazing. I mean, it was like a 
Musaif diamond halo that was on her, but I was, I just, I would have liked to seen her almost in what she wore for the, what she wore for the Golden Globes, which was that, you know, amazingly, I don't even, it was probably Gucci too, but it had, you know, more of a structure. Yeah, I, I like the structure a little bit. And her that. arm, I just felt like you could see more of her. I felt like mm-hmm. that dress was, like, I was looking at the dress and I wanted to look more at her face or her, you know, like, just, it was just a lot for me. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that one. It wasn't one of my, the, mm. yeah, it wasn't really one of my favorites. Let's talk about, are we done with women? You want to talk about the males? Because I want to talk about the males. I mean, I, I, there were some, there were some hot men. I, uh, oh, let's, good. <laughs> Paul Mescal, let's just talk about him first in that Gucci mm. white tuxedo with a matching, like, I tank mean, and then the flare the pants. Flared pants. Wait, <laughs> yeah. you were getting flare cuff pants. Oh, oh, oh I didn't know. No. no, okay, see, see, you style it. I was you like, got it. Is he rocking that? Yes, he is. And that beautiful so Cartier, like, <clears throat> j- brooch that was like a red balloon, you know, like a flower. And they, I don't even know what they call it. And then he, had, of course, had a Cartier Creed a tank watch on, too, you know, because you got to tie it all Why in. Why not? <laughs> um, I thought he looked. Stunning. Stunning. I mean, I don't even. Yeah, that's the word for him. <laughs> and then, you know, it was it was a, it was between him and Michael B. Jordan, honestly, for me, because Michael G., again, Louis Vuitton, black tuxedo, mm-hmm. and then Tiffany and Co. came out and they gave him the two bird on a rock roaches. One was one carat, eighteen carat yellow gold, platinum housing, a thirty two carat pink magnetite. Did wow. you see that brooch? Oh, God, I didn't know this. Okay, and then the other it. one, wow. with, and it had pink sapphires all around it, and the other one was like 18 karat gold with stunning green tourmaline, wait, 58 karat tourmaline. Wow. I was like, Zaza. come on out, oh, you know, you come on over. <laughs> come on over. Awesome. I thought that was, oh my he looked amazing. I, he was so just sleek. And then to say, you know mm-hmm. what? Yeah, throw those, throw those stones on me and make them big. You know, oh 58 karat, 38 carats. I thought that. I thought that was who, who who else did you just love? You know, I thought Jay Ellis. Oh, looked really yes. sharp. I thought he had a custom Fendi, Fendi um and then Cartier jewels, but he just looked so sleek and awesome. Yes. He was probably in one of my top. Or your top? I mean, with the, you're like, you're like, you're like, you're like, I mean, in Paul's face or what? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that kid. Paul was okay. They're probably my top two, and then of course Austin Butler. Oh, so he's on everyone's Saint list. Laurent, let's just, why don't you just put on the nice, just, well, and I think, I, I'm going to say this, a lot of people said he played it safe. God, I agree. Uh, but but he, I feel like he was just giving, like, I feel like he was like, I'm going to show up and I'm going to be classic mm-hmm. because I'm, I played Elvis Presley in classic. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to save it for the after party, which right. is what he did. He did. You know, you're putting on, mm-hmm. you know, a low satin cut shirt. You had the suit coat back on, like, and putting Kaya Gerber on her arm. Girlfriend, and, like, and that's all you And that silver number that you would look great in. But I no, I just, I thought, um, I thought he looked fabulous. I thought Lenny Kravitz on the carpet, the pointy boots with the flare trousers and the shirt, which, by the way, we don't even know if it was a shirt or trousers. It could have been, like, an actual jumpsuit from St. Laurent. I mean, St. Laurent, come on over. I mean, wow. We love it. The men looked fantastic. And we said, we talked Mm -hmm. about The Rock. I want to talk about Ludwig Borenson. I don't know if you saw this. He wore a Bodhi, like, suit that, like, it was a black suit, almost a Western cut tie, like, that they tied at the top. And then they did floral, like, beaded designs randomly placed throughout the suit. And he looked fantastic. He looked fantastic. And he um, was up for, he was nominated for Best Song. He wrote Lift Me Up. He wrote the whole score, actually, for the movie. Um, Teaching me here. But, uh, yeah, and he braided his hair, which he was, and he was on Vogue's Top 24. Because I looked, I was like, I like this look. Let me check. (laughs) Hold on. Let me, let me. And I, you know, I had to look at Vogue. What did they say? What did Anna say? And he was on the top 24. I thought he looked great. I thought it was just overall just really, really good. A lot of men looked great. Uh, Riz Ahmed. Yes. Am I saying that right? Yes. His pop collar. That thick. Oh, yes. And brown collar. I, yes. And so appropriate for just like Mm -hmm. what, you know, yeah. I felt like the men really brought it. I mean, almost as. As good as the, as I mean, I, the ladies. I really felt like it, like, I feel like it was, 
Be cool. Really elevated on both sides. I really enjoyed it all the way through. I loved the performances. I loved everything. And then, of, of course, we're going to roll right on into Danny Crick. Danny Crick. Let's roll on in there. When, where's our invite? Next to, year we're going. We're I'm going to take a drink because <laughs> I want to know what you have to say about And I, I didn't go as in-depth because I could have looked at I could have looked at pictures for hours. I did look at pictures for hours. But I think um, everyone's talking about Hunter Schaefer. Yes. That gal's mm-hmm. body. Well, you look amazing. Amazing. Uh, yes. I don't mm-hmm. know. Okay, so there were a lot of feathers. Yes. Right? So we, yes. we've got that. There was a lot of cutouts. We've got oh, that. It, was all, so it was all out kinda there. kind of took it, dialed it up, <laughs> took it to the next level. Yes. I don't know. I, not a fan of it. I thought it was a little I think, much. Yeah, I think for the, I mean, it, I wouldn't have worn it to the Oscars, but you know, Vanity Fair is pushing it. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, is there a new season of Euphoria coming out? Because if so, I'm I'm aware now. I looked it up. You know, like that's, and I feel like that mm-hmm. really brought presence. Like, oh, and you know, she plays Jules in in Euphoria. She's amazing in that. She's amazing, amazing actress. Um, I just thought, whoa, that's a lot. Whoa, I, is right. you know, like, wait, hold on. Well, we're all talking about it. Maybe that was the... And that is. And yeah, and maybe that's... I'm ready for the new season of Euphoria. Let's bring it on. Hopefully there's going to be a new one. I felt like everyone's talking about okay, something so now. We're, talking, we're yeah. talking about Hunter. You yeah, know, we're, and yeah. if you know who Hunter is, he's on Euphoria. So I think, yeah. I want to say, and I it know... It was you, gutsy. Let's say that. Oh, right? yeah. I, I mean, mean, it was like, I don't even know. I wouldn't eat for five days. I don't know. It was like a Kim Kardashian. I got to get into the dress 16 pounds. Like, I don't even know what you do. That It was... I mean, it, I, it was perfection. I didn't even see, like, even, all the shots, too. There wasn't even a bad shot. You know, when you wear something like that, you think it's a, it's very much about how you're posing your body and how you look. And it, everything shows, right? There wasn't one bad picture of her in that dress. Thank goodness. I mean, it because was like. the wrong move is going <laughs> to. I don't even know how she was walking. It was probably me in this. I, you can't see this, listeners, but I have like a literally. <laughs> it's not just a body con dress, but it is, it is like scuba attire. Scuba, okay, like scuba we, I could go. We could go in the ocean right, right now. Okay, I could go. I'm feeling it. I'm, you know, like the heat is on right now. I'm feeling like, you know, I could barely zip this baby in, and I, uh, I could barely walk. And I'm thinking, how did, yeah, was there not it. one photo that didn't? I mean, just a flip up the precision of that piece. Yeah. Well, unbelievable. Hey, if anyone can do it, she can do it. Yes. But that was that was risky. Um. Well, so I'll go back to Molly Sims. She she switched her outfit. Okay. And yeah. Wow. Did you see her black, jeweled? I liked that better. Oh, I loved it. And then she put her hair back, and she just looks. I mean, I think she's a goddess. So. I think she she looks like she just threw it on and she just yeah, took like yeah. two minutes, but she does that natural mm-hmm. beauty that it just shines mm-hmm. through. Plus her personality is fantastic. Everybody loves to follow Molly Sims. I do. I think mm-hmm. well, you, she's one of your favorites yes. and, and I would agree. I would agree. Who else did you, who else you got on there? You who else? Talk about? Um, well, I, Kaya Gerber. Oh I mean, gosh. gosh, I mean, that is something I would wear. Like be real about that. Oh, I, 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 I that's the first that. thing when I, when I looked at that silver, mm-hmm. I mean, it, and it just, the way it, it just, as like liquid, it just like it just looked like like, yes. like liquid. It was just so beautiful. And then her, you know, Austin with that purple, rich mm-hmm. silk. So I was like, is this a wedding alert like, here? Like, oh, they're absolutely. Gr- I hope they stay together forever. When I look at them, I kind of think married, of like their yeah. her parents. Like she kind of looks like a young version of her dad. That is so true. And she's like <laughs> looks you just look like at her it, mom. You're like, okay, sure. wait, are we back in time? No, it was absolutely stunning. Stunning. Yeah. Um, I was talking about, there was another, there was someone else I really wanted to talk about. And now I got her on the tip of my tongue and I didn't write her down. She had a, like, it looked like a broad leather bra on, but it was like a half cut with, oh my gosh, who am I talking about? Um, um, and she worked the, I, I don't think she worked the Oscars. I think she worked the Vanity Fair party. She did, um, she just did a movie of like, oh gosh, with that Harry, they just broke up Harry Styles. Why am I not? Why am I drawing a blank? Olivia like, Wilde. Yes. Okay. okay. You you didn't like it. Then. It is a miss for me. God. But I love her. <sighs> I thought she looked. Really I think sexy. because I've seen her look so good and beautiful so yes. much, and then she kind of throws this in. You're like, hmm, not your best. 
edgy, funky. I, and that's me, right? It. I was like, I love a leather, a leather look. Let's leather bra yeah. half of your, you know, half of your body. And like, let's do like that white silk on the other half. I mean, I was like, I don't know. I mean, I think she, if she ran into Harry, I would have been hey, like, you hey, know. you look great. But yeah, it was edgy. It was edgy. It was, it was different. Like I said, I, I think I like her in really great colors. I've, I've always, I don't know. I, no, she's a miss for me. Okay. But back with you. <laughs> so you're, t- okay, let's go back to the audience. Maybe I'm missing on the, the cutouts and the, the showing. Up no, I just, belly. I, maybe, maybe it's because her body just looks so incredible and, you know, she's in her late thirties and I, I just feel like, I, I think what it is, is not afraid to wear something and be a little bit older, you know? And I, that's what I think I'm, I'm. You know, like Sorry, Florence Pugh, yes, you're in your 20s, you're going all out. You're, you know, you look fa- fantastic. She's not even in her 30s, I think, at my age. But just to have that, you know, confidence. that confidence yes, to say, you I know agree. what, I'm going to wear this, and I feel great in it, and I look great in it, that's what gets me excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, well, then let's get out all let's the bustier all bras out. here and see what else we can do. You know, like, I can get the scuba the scuba outfit today. Why not? But, yeah, I thought it was great. I, I'm going to... Okay, let's just go back to your top look, your number one favorite, number one for the whole Oscar look. Number one. I'm going back to Nicole Kidman. God, I mean, it's, it's a rough one. She it's rough. Nailed it. I, I feel like, for me, I, I, yeah. But I just love Florence Pugh. I love that. You I just it. love yes. that, like, Watch my train and my mini shorts and look at this amazing, you know, she definitely said she wanted to keep that Tiffany and Co. choker. And I, I, I agree with she her on does. that. But I loved it. I loved it. And so, you know, I. We haven't talked about Lady Gaga's Versace. Oh, my gosh. How did we okay, even miss so that? I, I loved it. And, again, it's showing a little bit of some booty in the back-ish. Um, but I think that was a little bit more tasteful than some of the other, like, you know, things. But. I, I yeah, and it was Versace, right? It, it was. And it hit yes. right off the mm-hmm. runway. Okay, that had the boning in it with I the drop mm-hmm. waist, almost like a '50s style, and then mm-hmm. the bustier, and then she looked fantastic. I loved that they like they braided her hair, her hair. kind of, and mm-hmm. then tucked it in. Um, and yeah, I thought yeah, it was absolutely stunning. And that's why it was so it. interesting when you saw her in the t-shirt because mm-hmm. you were like, wait a minute. How did this happen in 20 minutes? You know, like you just had a full face on yes. with, with an amazing. And I think that that shows, of course, that's Lady Gaga. That she's going to shock she's you. Gonna she's going to say mm-hmm. she's going to be exactly who she is. That's why we love her. Right. And that voice, that voice when she sang, I, I, it, it, her voice is just so absolutely beautiful. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, grandma's the same way, but I really felt like that song was just she so moving. From- everything inside it, it, I mean this when you were looking and the audience I was like there was just it was like you're almost in awe because you can't believe you know you're thinking something's got to get pitchy here no 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 not any I mean just dead on and her going over to the artist afterwards and hugging each one of them I'm gonna I'm just gonna start that to me like for for saying you know you support me I support you it was yes. it, to me that was like I just saw it was just felt like a community. It really mm-hmm. felt like everybody was together, you know. Except I know Angela Bassett was really upset about not winning, and God, she's such a well, powerhouse. And I bet that's in your face, when she, I mean, you know. And then Hugh Grant being interviewed, you know, and just that cool when he roll like rolled his <laughs> eye, you know. And I know we had some of those moments where people were saying that, but overall, I felt like it was, you know, I was very emotional watching this this year, and I maybe it was just because. You are rooting for, you're rooting for everyone, mm-hmm. right? You really want, and this is like, this is their art, right? This, this is, is their, their art. art. This yep. is their passion. And, um, and, and I, it was personal for me because I think I loved some of the movies so much and they moved me so much that when they won, I was like, oh my God. Like it was, I was, a, so it was crazy. a bath. I was like just crying with them. Like I felt I, like I was with them. I it was crazy. Sitting there watching that together, girl. Oh, I mean, well, maybe Ooh. next year. I, you, you, I might be too intense. Remember, I was like, I was like, I might come over. Remember, and you were like, <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've got a full weekend. We got a full Sunday going on. But yeah, no, I mean, and I, I don't know if we want to leave it on that. But I think I, I think it was great. So if you didn't get to see it, I thought it was great. I was happy to watch it. See, sometimes I get up and roam around. I'm like, I'm right, not into right. it. I was into. 
it from start to finish. Oh, I know. I was watching Eve's Eve's brunch at like right. yeah. I was like, wait, I gotta fast forward. I was actually on you know on on a Zoom call with my part with my business partner Pete, and I was like, wait, hold on, it's time. It's I gotta, time. Go. gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> you know, and what what are we having for well, dinner? Yeah, miss the, I mean, there's no, so many no. things like beginning, middle, end. You gotta. Well, and I want to hear what everyone has to say, and I kept switching channels. Mm-hmm. You know, like I was like, wait, hold on, let me let me switch back and forth you know, and see what everyone's saying. And, you know, it was about this, I felt like it was really positive. Mm -hmm. It, you know, even the the pre-shows were great on E, you know, I thought Vanessa Hudgens did a great job. She emceed, um, she looked fabulous. She was almost in like a black silk number. I don't even know, I should have looked it up. Um, But she looked fantastic. Um, She she interviewed people very well. I thought she Mm -hmm. held herself very well. So yeah, I mean, overall. What did you think about her? I, you know, I, 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 it wasn't one of my it favorites. It wasn't one of my favorites either. And, yeah. Kind she, of a lot going on. Different. It was. Yeah. It was. Um, I think she's great, and she speaks well to the crowd, and she she knows she's her stuff. She's great. She's yes. fun to watch. I wasn't, her outfit wasn't one of my faves. It wasn't one of my I wish they would have had more commentators interviewing people. Like, I feel like next year, if they, mm-hmm. not just one person. I think you have a couple. Like, let's see oh, whatever absolutely. other people are going to ask. Because I do mm-hmm. think that that might help with the flow a little and not have five people around commenting. Have them on the right. floor. I think have them on the floor. It's, it's good to, people want to see, you know, I want to see what the stars have to say, too. I mean, yeah, I love, I love to see Zoe Stylist. I say, I'm going to listen. You know, I know, you know what you're saying. <laughs> but I like to hear what they have to say about why they're wearing something and what, what's, in, you know, and if, of course, their characters, too. But, yeah, I was overall amazing. And, um, you know, I guess we'll, we'll end it on that. I'm yeah, getting emotional. Like, why am I getting so emotional? <laughs> anyway, you know, we, we hope that this podcast has helped open your eyes to to something and, and you know, to fashion and to, to being around your friends. We hope you, you know, Get, pick up your phone, call a friend, talk about fashion, talk mm-hmm. about what you like, um, you know, get your creativity going, you know, and ultimately this has maybe added a little happiness into your day. Next week, you yes. will not believe what is going to be coming at you. We have a special guest beauty editor. Her name is Harper. She's going to oh, be on here talking to, we're going to do all beauty next week. We're yeah. going to talk about it's so fun. what products we're using, uh, TikTok and how it's changed basically the the world. beauty industry, the world, <laughs> the world, and everything, and fashion, and everything, but we're going to mm-hmm. focus on beauty. We're going to talk about our drugstore uh, versus department store, dupes. We'll talk about, uh, you know, colors for 2023, celebrity beauty brands, um, and a lot more, you know, so, you know, and if, and if you want to get, if you need to get style right now, you need to refresh in your closet, um, you need to, you know, go shopping. Tara, tell them where they can find you. Yep, you can find me at taracoglinstyling.com or Tara Coughlin Styling on Instagram. She's fabulous. And if you want friends. to do some circular fashion or looking for something sustainable and want to sell or buy pre-loved items, you can check us out at stylinggive.com. And so, you know, as we leave you today, we just want you to remember that we are all one. And we all have a story. And we're all just looking to connect. So we'll see you next week. See you soon.